What's going on everybody? Back for another review. We're going to take a look at the Leatherman Rebar Multi-Tool. Of course, that's what you see right here, right out in front of you. First thing I always like to do when I'm doing a review is I'm going to go ahead and weigh what I'm reviewing. So let me get out my trusty little kitchen scale here. Put it to ounces and we'll get ahead. go ahead and look at what it weighs. Got it zeroed out. We're looking at about 6.7 ounces, which is pretty accurate to what Leatherman says on their website. Uh, and that's a pretty, uh, kind of a mid, mid-weight multi-tool, I guess. I'd say it's, you know, it's on the lighter to mid-weight size. Um, does come with a few different sheath options. I got the leather one, which I actually don't really like for my kind of carry. Um, it carries only on your side like that, loops through a belt. And that's pretty much the only way. I kind of prefer a sheath that will let you carry it in this orientation. So I actually did a trade on sheaths with another YouTuber. Um, and by the way, this one's going out to you. So don't worry about it if you're watching. Um, but anyways, really cool multi-tool. What this one basically is, is a miniature size Super Tool 300. What they did is they just made it smaller, made it a little bit less heavy duty. Um, as far as the overall weight and size. And just made it in the same mold, Super Tool 300 into a compact size. Now if we look at the dimensions, I'll get out my tape measure here. This is a pretty small multi-tool as far as when you're looking at full size ones. This one's only about 4 inches. Um, if you look at it in hand, I have kind of large hands, but you kind of see you can just barely get a full four finger grip on it when it's opened up. So that kind of gives you an idea for size. One other thing I want to show you here is a Spyderco Manix 2 Translucent Blue. You can kind of see that the multi-tool is smaller when it's all folded up than this knife. So it kind of gives you an idea for size reference. As far as the design of it, um, it's, kind of, it's really a no-frills kind of multi-tool design. It's really simple. The design is a really kind of old style. It has the old Leatherman look to it. And it's just a great classic look. Um, kind of the, the biggest feature is probably the pliers. Now these pliers in particular, pretty precise. They're not very bulky at the tip. They're, um, they're kind of thin, kind of precise. One of the cool features is that it does have removable cutters. And like I said before, if you guys have been watching my videos on my EDC, I said these are pretty precision as well. These cutters, you can actually cut the thin strings on guitar strings, and I'll roll in a clip of that. But um, it's something that I really like. There's no play side to side, so that when you cut it, you can cut something, you can cut a, uh, a wire, such as a guitar string, and not have any difficulty doing that. It just cuts right through even small, um, even small wires. But um, yeah, really cool to have the removable cutters if you cut often. However, I will say that um, with this type of tool, you're probably not going to be doing any heavy duty cutting, although I don't doubt that you could. And if even if you had issues with these cutters, like I said, you can buy some new blades, swap them out, put the new ones in there, or even sharpen them if you really wanted to or needed to. But as far as the tool set, it's a pretty standard tool set. You do have a 440HC blade, plain edge, and if you look at the blade design, that is a really cool looking blade. Really useful for cutting. Great slicer. Um, came pretty sharp out of box. Paper, uh, paper slicing. Probably not phone book paper slicing. But to be honest with you, I usually don't use the blades on multi-tools. Um, it's just not my intended use. But I did cut a little bit with this one. Found it to be pretty sharp. Kind of see the edge there. And it is ground on both sides. Um, has a bevel on the edge. As you can see there on both sides. So um, it's not a uh, chisel grind. But obviously it is locking. The way you can disengage the lock, um, open or close as you press down on this piece right here, and it disengages the lock on all the tools. But um, go ahead and put the knife away. Um, you do also have, on the other side, a serrated blade. I believe this is 440 HC as well. Everything on here is pretty much 440HC, but this is also paper cutting sharp, and I'll, I'll roll in a video of that also. Um, really sharp, again, I don't foresee myself using that, but for someone that might need a serrated blade that is sharp, definitely sharp. 
little cut paper as well as some other things. Um, the other blade that you have is a file on the other side. That's your saw. We'll get to that next. But you do have a metal file. And it's pretty aggressive. Um, haven't used it on a lot of metal, but I just kind of polished up a little piece of metal and um, seemed to work pretty good. I didn't try doing any heavy work with the file. It's just not something that I usually use. But you can see that it's abrasive on both sides as well as the bottom. So it's a pretty abrasive file. Again, all these tools lock. Every single um, tool on this locks. We'll go ahead and get back on this side. And as I was saying, it does have a wood saw. It does have. Um, wood saw works great. I sawed up just some firewood that I use on my um, for my fireplace, and it works great. Works like any other Leatherman, just like the Wave saw as far as performance. I really like it. Um, this is kind of good for me when I go hiking or backpacking. If I don't want to take a, a bigger saw, I can just take this, even as a, an emergency if you're just carrying it. Um, works pretty good for smaller size wood. Other features on the multi-tool. You do have a Phillips driver locking as well as kind of good as far as length. It's kind of long. It has a uh, kind of a medium tip to it. Not extremely small but not extremely large either. It's a good size tip overall. And like I said it does have some length to it. It does have some reach which is great when you're working with drivers. It does have two flat drivers. Um, you have they're on the other side actually. A larger flat driver, or wider I should say, not dry, a flat head, not really a driver, it's not a driver. Flat head, this is your largest one, pretty decent size if you look at in comparison to my finger, and uh, yeah, fairly precision, and it's not extremely wide, but you can use that also as kind of a mini pry if you wanted to, pry something open, it's fairly beefy, uh, you just want to be careful, you don't want to snap it. He also comes with a uh, a smaller flathead, more precision. Look at the tip there. Pretty small, so it gives you a little bit of options when depending on which kind of screws you're working with. Um, again, all these tools are locking. They lock up's great. Don't have any issues with it. Um, it also comes with an awl that has a. Uh, the hole if you wanted to thread something through and to be honest haven't used the all but I've used it on other Leatherman models and I don't suspect that it won't work this right here is very sharp probably paper cutting sharp and um, seems to be fairly precise in the shape and size so um, if you need an all for something it's great to have also comes with a bottle and can opener on the other side of course see right there now I, I really don't like Leatherman's um, I've used them a few times but preferably I kinda like the Victorinox Swiss Army ones but uh, I suppose you could use this if you really needed to um, but yeah you have that option available it's there you know and also another cool thing about this is it does have a wire cutter right there kind of a wire stripper if you wanted to strip a wire you know, you put it in the groove right there and then strip it. At least I think that's what it's for, that cutout right there. Because this is sharpened. It's kind of a chisel grind right there. So it looks like it's sharpened to pull from the other side. Um, can't say I've used that either because I really don't strip wires. But it's useful for someone that needs to do that in their job. Or might need an additional set of cut cutters. Um, probably work pretty well because these are sharp. And if I can, I'll roll in a clip of me cutting some paper with them. But um, that's pretty much it as far as the tools go. Um, overall impressions, really like it. This is great for my EDC, and I've been carrying it for uh, about two weeks now, since back around Christmas. Maybe not two weeks, maybe more like a week. But uh, I really like it. It's a great multi-tool. It's kind of budget. I mean, I got this for around 50 but already the price has dropped to about $43 on Amazon.com. So, you know, it's a great little multi-tool if you don't want a full-size one, but you want some features like having a saw and the removable cutters and the nice flat edge on that blade, even though it's 440HC. Um, it's great having that plain edge. Just a gorgeous knife. All the tools lock. Some great features. Another great offering from Leatherman. 
If you don't want the full size Super Tool 300, you might want to check out the Leatherman Rebar. So um, thanks for watching as always. I hope this was helpful. If anybody has any questions about this tool or anything I said in the video, feel free to leave a comment. And um, everybody take care. Thanks for watching. Peace.